everyone and welcome to the last episode of let's design at city skylines this is the end of the road for me uh quite it's been quite a journey uh working on cedar valley uh this is i think this is probably the largest project i've ever tackled on my channel and man i just couldn't wait to to show you uh what, what i have prepared for this episode we're going to be doing a bit of a recap uh where you know we just look at the evolution of Cedar Valley. Uh, I picked uh, three uh, save games, uh, episode 23, episode 35, and episode 47, which was the last one. And we're just gonna be taking a look at how things used to look like back then, starting with the base map. This is what I created when I first uh, started the series. This map was called Pine Hills, and uh, I created this during a two, three hour live stream, which you can still uh, watch. It's uh, it's probably the first uh, video on uh, the Cedar Valley playlist. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of uh, not great. <laughs> That's, uh, I, th I think you, you now can uh, tell why I took this down from the workshop. I mean, on the left, you can see all of the work that, uh, that was done during the creation of the series. And on the right, you can see how it used to look like. Uh, which obviously is very, very different. Uh, there's lakes and, and rapids and things that are no longer there, even islands. Like, look at the three islands uh, right in front of the city. You, you can now see how they just shift and change. But, uh, I mean, I was kind of embarrassed from the original map, so I decided to not make it public until now, where, uh, with the help of Sam Sam, I was able to put together uh, or import my save game, my latest save game, into the asset editor and export it as a new map. So you can now officially download this. Uh, it's up on the Steam Workshop. It's been on the Steam Workshop for uh, two, three days now. Uh, everyone who followed me on Twitter and Facebook was able to download it before this video came out. So there's another reason for you to uh, follow me at there because uh, I tend to announce things uh, there a little bit earlier. And uh, you can also download the full save game and uh, a version of the save game that's just the roads. Make sure to read the descriptions of each one of those uh, uh, items in the workshop because uh, there's things that you may have to do on each particular case. Uh, obviously, you may need a really beefy computer in order to run Cedar Valley as a full save game because there's, I mean, even on my computer, it just lags tremendously. And I've already been getting comments from people on Twitter saying, holy crap, how you can even play this? But it's true, it's true, it's really laggy. There's so much going on there, but uh, at least you're gonna be able to get a glimpse of how I actually make things by, you know, zooming in into my my creations and and just uh, hopefully I can you can learn a few things. Uh, and uh, for sure, I'm encouraging everyone to go continue Cedar Valley on, on your own if you, if you can. <laughs> Uh, and just send me screenshots and even make videos on YouTube. That's absolutely fine by me. Just make sure to link back to this playlist or my channel. That's all I ask, but uh, yeah, just have at it. Have a ton of fun. But uh, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just go and take a look at the city uh, for a moment as we finalize you know, the last tour of the map, of the empty map, because this is where most of the change really, really happened. This is how the city used to look like back on episode 23. Uh, I know I have the oldest save games too, somewhere on a hard drive, but I just couldn't find them uh, at the time of this recording. Uh, however, I thought, uh, you know, episode 23 was, uh, you know, a good starting point because the city was like pretty much developed. So you can actually, so you're gonna have to actually have some sort of like reference uh, to the different things. And uh, obviously episode 35 is the middle point between, you know, 47 and 23. So that's that's why I picked it. And it also shows uh, a very interesting, you know, evolution. And uh, man, I mean, between episode 35 and 47, I feel like where most of the progress was made, like the airport didn't exist. Uh, many other like, you know, geographical features didn't exist either. Uh, topographical for the most part, I mean. And uh, even, I mean, one, one thing I, I did is speak, uh, specifically pick episode 35 too, because uh, we, we haven't applied the, the uh, 4K theme 
at that point. So you can see the different shade of colors as uh, as we pan uh, through the city. Like even from episode 23, it feels like it has less and less trees. And uh, I was just trying to do some weird terraforming there at the bottom on episode 35, but then got rid of it and uh, just decided to go for the you know, the clusters of trees uh, technique to sort of fill that uh, area behind the city that we never got to develop. And uh, this, uh, I mean, changes like this are like really, really remarkable. You can see how much uh, detail and also like how the, this is something that I was just, as I was editing this video, I was realizing how I was able to sort of keep the same road layouts in many, many ways but uh, also change them dramatically, but the orientation kind of remains the same. Uh, and it will be more more clear in, in, a, in a few of the clips that are coming, but uh, yeah, this uh, this whole area has changed dramatically. And also like the build, uh, the building techniques have changed as well. Uh, this, for example, the nuclear power plant was like a very vague idea when I was uh, working even on episode 35 or 23. Uh, and this is uh, this is what it used to look like. I mean, it was just a completely barren, empty land. And I think the idea actually came when when I did that canal there. But uh, it it wasn't. I mean, I did that, and it wasn't for another two three months that I didn't you know until I tackled the actual uh, nuclear power complex. And look how much just everything around it. It's yeah, everything changed. It's it's looking at this evolution just brings me brings me back and and it reminds me of of me actually working on all these projects uh, even the detail work like uh, all of the work that I was doing uh, and the tools that I had at the moment you can see the different stages like between episode 35 and 23 it pretty much looks the same however as we you know swipe through episode 47 you you can just see the richness uh, from I mean it's not just like you know having prop line tool and better assets like the, the theme itself already adds a ton, a ton of detail. Obviously, the um, some of the shots from episode 35 and 23, uh, I, I remember using a, a mod called Terrain Texture Replacer. So the textures that you see for the mountains and uh, things like that are not really the ones that I was using at the time. So it looked a little bit richer in terms of, uh, you know, texture quality, but uh, not uh, it's still way, way different than uh, the final result from the 4K theme uh, that was created by Mark Fire, who I thank him uh, quite a bit because it, it really transformed the way uh, Cedar Valley looks. And it's kind of, I feel, I, I, I see a lot of people using this theme all over the place and it just looks, it just makes cities look so great. I hope to see more 4K themes in the future. But uh, for the time being, I want to thank you, Mark, for, for that work. It was just magnificent. And uh, this whole area that we're zooming back, uh, I mean, Man, this, I remember doing this overnight, like, I was like, oh, this industrial area looks like crap, this harbor looks like crap, so I just redid it all completely. Uh, I even changed, like, the shipping lanes and everything, it took me forever to figure out how that worked, but uh, I was happy, I was happy that we did, because it just transformed the entire harbor area, and it looked much, much better, and like, and like, richer, and like, more eye candy, I, I don't know, that, uh, that, that, feeling it's just like amazing uh, I think uh, we were able to accomplish quite a bit there and uh, this uh, this Avenue this main Avenue changed so many times if I if I was able to find like an older save from like episode two or three you would have seen that it was even more different than this but uh, let's just uh, zoom back because by episode 23 the entire area on the other side of the river is completely empty and then by episode 35 it was like, wow, there's a thing now here. There's like this massive sprawl that just uh, up here. And it's uh, it's really, I don't know, it's really fulfilling for me to see it like that uh, and just like a fade in all of the work. So many hours put into this project, probably more than, I don't know, 600 hours, if not more. It's, yeah, it's been it's been quite, quite a journey. And uh, finally here, this is also pretty remarkable. You can see the the area uh, on the corner of the map that I, I don't think I've ever shown this because I also remember doing all this terraforming sort of off camera and just revealing it in an episode. But this is the area that surrounds the airport, as you will see in a moment. I, I obviously decided to split the screen, you know, one, one third, two thirds, so that you can see more of the new stuff as the old stuff is really not, you know, it has zero detail. Man, 
the yeah the, the, the old sapiens were not not that pretty uh in terms of the outskirts i, I feel like uh you know, going forward with new projects, I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye on things, on details like that. I, things that I didn't used to do before. Just, uh, you know, actually taking care of like the outskirts as well. Because every time I, I, I do videos of this and take screenshots, you can still see the background. So if everything is barren in the back, it just doesn't look great. So I don't know. It's something, uh, you know, my, my attention to detail goes as, as far as that too. So now we're going to be taking a look at the last seconds of these uh, evolution clips. Then we're going to be taking a look at uh, some gorgeous cinematics from episode 47. And I'll catch you guys in just a couple of minutes. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has in one way or another contributed to the making of this project and also to the viewers who have shared their ideas and suggestions and support. As uh, far as the next project goes, I'm still working on the final details. It may take a couple of weeks to materialize, but it will happen very, very soon. If you want to be the first one to know when that uh, takes place, please make sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to be notified immediately. But if you really, really want to stay ahead of the curve and get teasers, you know, before they go live, Following me on Twitter and Facebook is definitely the way to go. Finally, if you enjoy this series, please flood this video with likes. Maybe we can get it to, I don't know, 47 likes or something like that. Again, all of the download links are in the description if you want to get uh, the save game and everything else. But uh, that's it. That's really all that I have to say for now. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll definitely hope to see you in the next series.